Welcome to this Selenium Java logging tutorial. Selenium logging is useful to find out if the application under test runs correctly or not. In this Selenium tutorial, I will show you how to code a very simple logging framework in Selenium WebDriver for your Selenium custom logging. In Selenium logging, the question is, what is logging in Selenium Java or any other technology? Logging means recording events and observations systematically. The logs are useful for analysis and audits. Now there are many ways for adding logging to Selenium. Log4j Selenium Java is a complex way to add logging to Selenium. Instead of log4j, I will write a simple Java method to create a log. You can modify this method to add logging to Selenium tests for your own Selenium custom logging. Let me show you how to do logging in Selenium using Maxstaff Cloud, the free Selenium framework using Java. So I created a free account in Maxstaff Cloud and I am logging in now. Earlier I created a project, so I am going to click on that project and click on add case. Now this case is going to be Selenium Java logging and I am going to choose the template as Selenium hello world and click on the create button. So Maxstaff Cloud has created a sample case. I click on the script tab and go to the bottom. In this Selenium tutorial, first let me write an enum or enumeration for logging levels. In Java, an enum has some constant values, for example, HTML colors. But I am going to write an enum for logging levels. So I am going to type enum and call it level then within curly braces I can give the constant values in Java when we give constants it is customary to put them in uppercase so my first level is going to be info for information then I'll put one for warning and another level for error next in this selenium java tutorial let me write a small class for selenium framework logging so first of all i need a couple of import statements so i go to the top where the import statements are and here i'll import java dot time because i want to log the time dot local date time so this will give me both the date and the time another import statement import java dot time dot format to format the time dot date time formatter now after writing the import statements i'm going to create a class so go to the bottom and this is going to be my Selenium Java framework for logging. I'm going to put a single line comment here. Selenium Java framework and create a logger class. Now this logger class is going to have just one method which is a log method public string is the return type it's going to return a string and the name of the method is log and there will be two parameters one for the level so my data type is level and the parameter name is l then another string data type the parameter name will be message and put the body of this method inside curly braces so first 
a single line comment format date and time for selenium web driver logging first of all i have to get the current time at the time the log was written so the type is local date time and my variable name within the method is present is equal to local date time dot now this is going to give the current time next i have to format it so to do that i have to create a date time formatter object date time formatter and i am going to call this object as f is equal to date time formatter dot i can give a pattern here so dot of pattern and i can give the pattern in double quotes so i want the date then the month and then the year and hours minutes and seconds you can give your own date time format here now i am going to format the time that is in the present variable a string log date time is equal to present dot format using the f object that i just created in the previous line i'm going to put a single line comment here to craft the message selenium with java logging message and write the return statement the return so first is the log level and then give a colon plus is for string concatenation in java then log date time and give another colon and a space and the actual message so this completes my log method in the class logger now in the enum the values of the constants are comma separated so i forgot to put a comma here and uh, let me save it and compile it to see if there are any errors now the case is compiled and i have created the class logger now i can call the log method in the logger class so let me go back to the test method and the first thing i need to do in the test method is to create a logger object i'm going to put a single line comment create logger object in selenium for java and how to create the logger object first in java we have to give the type logger and i'm going to call my variable as l is equal to new logger so this will create the logger object now the sample code already has driver.manage.window.maximize to maximize the browser window now here i can call the log method so in maxstaff cloud there is a built in service available to add the log that is called mx service so mx service dot 
add log line will write to the log and what I want to write to the log is using the log method here I want to call the log method so my logger object is L dot log and first I have to give the level so I just want to put a log that the browser window is maximized so I can put the level as using the enum level dot info and next I have to give the message so the message I am going to put as maximize window then there is a driver dot get here I can put another single line comment another selenium web driver console log console log means the log will be displayed on the screen or the display and I can use the same MX service dot add log line and call the log method L dot log and here also I want to use the enum so it's an information message in the log and the actual message is opened website and in every Java statement we have to put a semicolon at the end after all this there is an assertion now here I want to be able to log a message if there is any error so this assertion I'm just going to comment it out and put a new assertion using an if statement the Java if statement after if we have to give the condition in brackets if driver dot get title dot index of and because this is searching for hello world in the Wikipedia website it should be able to find hello world is greater than or equal to zero then assert dot assert equals true comma true else I'm going to put curly braces because there are a couple of statements single line comment generate logs in selenium software of errors so here I'm going to use the same MX service dot add log line and call the log method L dot log so first I have to give the level so my name of the enum is level dot error so the title did not match hello world and the message is going to be the page title is unexpected and after this fail the assert assert dot assert equals true comma false this is going to fail the assert now the logging is implemented in the test method let me check the code now the title has hello world the W is in capital so let me save it and compile it now the case is compiled now selenium testing in the selenium java tutorial
click on the run button and click run again Maxstaff cloud has started the case execution during case execution it shows the video also and this is the selenium web driver console log so here we can see that the log method has put info it has put the date and time which is properly formatted and first line says maximized window then second line says opened website and this is just coming from the line number 50 which prints the title in the log now let me force a failure so that we can see the error log also so close this run details and here in the if statement I'm just going to introduce something else so that the title does not match save it and compile it case is compiled now selenium automation testing in this selenium tutorial click on the run button and click run again so let us see what happens when there is an error and the case execution fails so MaxF Cloud has completed the case execution and the state is completed and the result is failed because the title did not match and let us see in the log there should be the error log here it is it's an error the page title is unexpected so that's all in this selenium webdriver tutorial Please view all of my Selenium tutorials on Selenium 4. You will learn Selenium easily with my Selenium videos. Like this Selenium Java tutorial, my Selenium WebDriver Java tutorials have many examples for you to practice. This Selenium training starts from Selenium tutorial for beginners and covers Selenium WebDriver with Java. Thank you.